Okay, one inch to your right. Good. Hold a little bit back. Okay. And focus. And. What should I say? Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing a quick video on how to steam poor tea, a pressed poor tea. If you have some pour that is very tough and hard to break like this one, this is the video for you. So let's get started. As you can see, this break is tough as hell. I really want to drink it, but it looks so painful every time Phil's breaking it with a pour knife. So just thinking of that kind of discourages me from drinking it. Phil actually sawed a piece off for comparison tasting later, and the rest will be steamed today. Of course, I didn't invent this method. It's actually a very traditional way to break a tough pour. Ideally, you want a dedicated pot or steamer just for tea, but、uh, I don't have one. So here they are: a big Dutch oven that can fit everything in, and a Chinese dim sum steamer that prevents drops of water on the tea. Rule of thumb here is to moist the tea to loosen it up without the water directly on it. I've seen people wrap a cheesecloth around the lid of the pot to prevent drops. So feel free to be creative. I clean up the pot and the steamer, and steam them for a few minutes to help get rid of any smell. Now the pour is in. Well, just let it steam till it's loosened up. We need to check on the tea regularly because we don't actually we don't want to cook it. Give it a poke to see if you can break it now. If not, just let it steam a bit longer. Once the tea seems breakable for you, it's time to take it out and break it apart. Mine took about eight-ish minutes. As you can see, the steam pour looks quite different from the original. So, does the steam really help with breaking the tea? Let's hear what Phil says. It's a lot easier than it was. Ha ha ha! A lot easier. Okay. So that that core is was super tough before, and now、yeah. it's coming right apart. Once you finish breaking the tea, it's time to dry it. The traditional pour tea process is sun dry, so if your weather allows, which means warm and sunny, feel free to let the tea dry outdoors in the sun. But in my situation, I don't want the tea to freeze before it's dried, because it's minus twenty outside. I'll put it under the sun indoor, and to add a bit fun. I'll separate the tea into two piles, one to sun dry indoor, and the other one I'm going to dry it in a tea roaster since I have it. It's a way that is widely used to dry poor tea nowadays. How long does it take to dry the tea? This really depends on the humidity, the temperature, and how wet the tea leaves are. In my case, the roaster took about 45 minutes. And the indoor sun dry batch took about five hours. So here we go.、Um, go achieved. We broke the、um, pour without、uh, any blood on it. So there are a few things I want to mention. The very first thing is this is a method for the pour teas that you are going to that you are going to enjoy in the near future. So saying you have a tea for aging. And I wouldn't use this method because you don't want to just、uh, steam them over and over just for little pieces of the tea. And many people wondering how poor tea is pressed. So here you go. You not only know how it's pressed, you actually did that yourself. So when they are、uh, processing the mao cha, which is the dry leaf, they give it a little bit of humidity, give it a little bit heat, then the leaf gets softened, and、uh, that's how they press them into the desired shape. And the last thing is, I always said that、um, process affects how the tea tastes, and that's why we did this kind of pseudo sun dry as well as the light roasting. And hopefully, we can do a video to do side by side tasting with this and the original tea. And give us a thumb up so we know that you are interested to watch such kind of a comparison tastings. And feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Share, subscribe. So stay warm and sip more tea. Till next time, bye bye.